Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol RXII. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like you this time frame that is a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and then makes mapping out levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. I don't mean to state the obvious, but I will anyways. Nice price movement today. And then on top of that, also had good solid volume, biggest volume this chart has had for quite a while. So a lot of eyeballs on this one. So let's map out some areas of support and then we can talk levels of resistance. So the first level of support that stands out to me would be right here at the 47 cent mark. I would call this the ideal level, meaning if you say, Clay, what would make this chart look the best possible? And that would be if the price can stay above 47. Now, with that being said, if the price does drop below 47 cents, I'm not saying the entire chart's ruined or broken or anything like that. But yeah, if the price can manage to actually stay up above that level, that would certainly be a huge sign of power going forward. Taking a step back and looking at things from more so the big picture point of view, that is where the purple line here comes into play. The famous 50 period simple moving average. Keyword being moving. As time goes by, this line is going to move itself higher and higher. So a very straightforward yet highly effective way to judge the health of the move. This right here being defined as quote unquote the move. Just watch that purple line. As long as the price stays above that line, as the line itself moves higher and higher, then the bulls are in full health, the bulls are in full control. However you can best visualize that, that's what's being represented. Again, yeah, staying above 47 cents, that would be great. But from the grand scheme of it all, as long as the price is above that purple line, then the bulls 100% own the chart. What about levels of resistance? As far as where the sellers were hanging out at, initial level right here at the 48 and a half cent mark, if the price can push through 48 and a half, the next key level is just simply where the party stopped today and that was up there at the 50 cent mark. So all in all, nice movement, nice volume. Now it's just a question of can the bulls build upon this momentum going forward? We shall see, but it'll be, but it'll be interesting to see how this one uh, closes out and finishes the week tomorrow. One of the biggest questions that I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.